Now let's see an example about NFV report and after that see the market reaction. In this example, I'm going to show you what happened on the last NFV day and after that I will show you what happened on that day. Please read the report carefully and after that see the market reaction. As you can see in this graph, because of a strong reading of NFV, Euro lost 100 pips against the US dollar. Now let's look at latent layers and relationship between employment and other factors. Business cycles and employment. Business cycles are repetitive expansion and contractions of economy activity. In other words, the business cycles are the downward and upward movements of gross domestic product, as we can see in the graph. During the time, economy activities tend to move in cyclical trends, and we as a trader should understand them and analyze the market environment according to these cycles. Business cycles and unemployment. Look at the US unemployment rate from 2013 to 2015. As defined by the International Labor Organization, ILO, unemployed persons are individuals who are looking for work but cannot find it. The unemployment level of an economy is a measurement for understanding the current economy situation and also a good indicator for categorizing the healthy economy from unhealthy ones. For example, when economies are expanding, businesses can grow, so they are more willing to hire new labor forces. And when economies are contracting, businesses must reduce the labor forces, which it eventually increase the rates of unemployment. Thank you for watching this video. I see you in the next one.